Good morning, good morning. Still in my car, folks, so give me a second. I got a lot of sun out here. Hold tight. Say good morning to you all. Cozy Cloud, good morning, good morning. I want you guys to hold tight for a second. Let me uh, clear my screen here. Give me a second, folks. All right, looks a lot better. Let's see, Cozy Cloud. All right, all right. First time I went live in a week. Had a bit of a setback. So you guys just uh, hold on tight for me. All right, I'm back at you. Had a little bit of pause. I want to say good morning to everybody. Hope everybody's doing great. We'll go ahead and get this thing started in just a second. It's a great day. It's beautiful. It's Close to 80 degrees right now. Here we are in February. Ooh, yesterday it went over 80. It was like 84. <laughs> Loving life, man. This is what it's all about. This is the Florida life. And I'm taking it all in, folks. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and get started. If it's going to be, it's up to me to fulfill my my dreams and possibilities with dedication and motivation to inspire thousands from all nations when times are tough and breaks you down just smile with toughness and rebuild from the ground during tough times adversity is a lot just remember time flies but you are the pilot folks i want to thank you guys for joining our morning walk live of jay lee Typically, we do this each and every morning around 10 a.m. Unfortunately, we had, a, we had a week off, not by choice. Let me explain to you what guys, what happened last week. I went live, it was a Tuesday, well, actually a week ago from today. Went live. That evening, I started to come down with a sore throat. It just came right out of the blue. It was like one minute I was fine last night, and then like a minute later, bam, all of a sudden pain just hit my throat. I'm like, what the hell is that? Normally when you get a sore throat, it started to gradually come. Not me. So uh, did my little remedies, gargling with warm salt water and apple cider vinegar and all that kind of good stuff. The next day, I got up. My throat was feeling better, but it was still a little sore. So I go into my office, and next thing you know, I start getting chills. I said, man, what is going on? I went on Google, tested, you know, did the, put in my uh, symptoms or what I'm going down with. Some weird bugs out here too. And it says sore throat, body chills. Those are symptoms and signs of the flu. I said, oh hell no. So I immediately left. Dan Rosia, good morning. So I immediately left. Dang, congratulations, Dan Rosia. Your health is coming up. Good, good, good. So I left my office immediately went to the doctor and let me tell you folks those who know me know I do not do medicine but I listened to Dr. Deepak Chopra he said sometimes when you're in an emergency situation you need to, you need to get your health back real fast. He said, some medicines are not bad. And I can, I can go with that. 
But overall, I'm just not a medicine guy. It really tears you up, right? But went to the hospital and they wanted to diagnose me. They wanted to test me for the flu. And let me tell you guys how they test you for the flu. Whew, it's called a flu swab. Where they take this long Q-tip and stick it up each of your nostrils as far as they can go. You're talking about something that's uncomfortable. Whoo! That was so uncomfortable. I moved their hand and pulled a Q-tip out of my nose like two times. Eventually, eventually I, I was able to withstand it. And they were able to get the Q-tip up far enough to a certain spot in each of my nostrils so that they can take samples to test for the flu. Test results came back. I was negative. I did not have the flu. But I did have strep throat. Strep throat when you, when you see this white dry pus on your tonsils. I said, okay, so I'm gonna be on vocal rest. So I'm on vocal rest, come home, taking meds, ibuprofen and some sort of antibiotic. Take that for a week, I should be fine. Vocal rest. <laughs> still did a little bit of talking because I was doing a lot of, still doing work on my business. Phone calls here and there, trying to, but still trying to rest myself. Weekend come, I'm doing fine. Don't have no pain. Sunday comes around. Day before yesterday. I get a disturbing phone call. That one of my younger cousins did not wake up out of her sleep after her daughter has been trying to wake her up. So you guys can imagine the week. This let me, let me tell you folks, this past week can just go to hell. Right? So if you guys remember in my press videos, one of my cousins would always join us. I said, there is Lana Graham. Then I said, hey, Cousin Buzzin, my cousin Lana Graham. She will always watch me live. And if she was here today, she will be watching me live right now. So, folks, I shared that week experience with you for this reason. No matter the adversity you're going to face, and I've been, God, I've been telling you this, it seemed like forever. Regardless, the adversity you face, you will always be the author of your life. Your obligation to this world as the author of your life is to create an amazing story. You see? Now I've come back with a vengeance. I'm taking no prisons. And I'm eating the wounded. So, folks, I say this to you. And encouraging you. You can lose loved ones. You can get sick. Things are going to happen to you. 
things are going to happen all around you. But what's more important of things that are happening in you. Because you're the author of your life. Can you come you come back from a sick sick sickness from illness recover only to get a phone call that you just lost one of your little cousins and mind you there were two other tragedies that I had to encounter prior to this. Remember when I moved here to Florida, 2014. My brother, Joseph Lee, was found dead a week later, lying on his bedroom floor. After I've moved here, I had to fly back. For his burial. Prior to this, prior to that, 2012 in August, I lose my mom. Only to discover going to work the very next day to hear my manager tell me. We're so sorry to hear about your mom, but this is not why we called you into the conference room. We called you in here because we have to let you go. We're downsizing. Ladies and gentlemen, Les Brown said it perfectly. When life knocks you down, try landing on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Life has certainly knocked me down. Oh, three times in this past week. And guess what? Each time I land on back and I got up. You see me up right now. You see me up right now, don't you? As my cousin used to come and watch my live videos, Lana Graham. I'm dedicating this video, this live morning walk video to her. Dedicating this to my cousin, Lana Graham. Folks, you're gonna be involved one of three. You just either either you've just gotten out of adversity or you heading into some adversity or you're in some adversity right now. And if you're like me, you're all three, Jack. <laughs> but let me say this, ladies and gentlemen. You don't go through adversity. You don't go through problems. You grow through them. If you're not growing, you're dying. And this is not what we're here to do. We're not here to just pay bills and die. We are here to make a difference. We are here so that humanity can be at a better place. And the only way, the only way we can do this, ladies and gentlemen, is to grab life, grab the bull by the horns, 
and do what we're obligated to do. Be an author of our lives and creating an amazing story. You see, I've learned, I've learned that your success does not belong to you. Your success belongs to those who are inspired by it. So as someone inspires you, your story will inspire others. That's the butterfly effect. Kosi Cloud said to me about a week or two ago how she gives me credit for her development. The person that she had to become to face the adversities that she's faced. And I said to her, thank you. But I wouldn't be an honest man if I took all the credit. And she can assure you that I told her you have Dr. Willie Jolly and Les Brown to thank for that. James Off the Ray to thank for that. And that's exactly what I said. I said, I can't take all the credit. Because I had to take beatings from those guys. They, they groomed me. They shaped me into this person. And still are. We don't stop growing until we die, folks. Coastal Cloud, my witness, she, she can tell you that exactly that's what I said. So when you see Dr. Willie Jolly, thank him. I can't take that credit. So let me say this, folks, and I'm going to chime out. I'm going to try to make my videos a lot of, a lot. <laughs> A lot shorter. You're the author of your life. Will your story inspire generations after you, or will your story despise generations after you? Say it in a way that you can let this sink in for you. You're the author of your story. Will generations after you be, in, be inspired by your story or despised by it? This is Jay Lee. Thank you guys for taking this morning walk with me. This video is dedicated to my late cousin, Lana Grant, who we've just lost Sunday night. Lana, I love you. You still have work to do in the spiritual world. And I always appreciated your support. You've always watched me live. And I know from the spiritual world, you're walking with me and you're watching me right now. So folks, share this video. I wanna give a shout out to those who always shares. Diane Rosier, Kosi Cloud, Denise George, Sylvia Fleming, Trayon Brown, Brother Cooper, Antoine Watts, Brother Ron Smith, Leslie White, Sister Halima. I don't think I left anybody out. It's a long list. So thank you, folks. I really appreciate you You're walking with us today, our morning walk live. We are back up and running for that. We will be getting our Monday Motivational Power Talk back online soon as well. So be, be, and I still have a big, huge announcement coming, but I don't want to prematurely make it. So you guys hold tight. That's coming. Probably another day or two. All right. So with that being said, I want you guys to do me one last huge favor. And that is to sing like no one can hear you. Dance like no one can see you. Love like you've never been hurt and live like it's heaven on earth. I'm Jay Lee, I love you, and the world needs you. So stop that damn texting and driving. Peace and blessings, folks. Have a great day.